Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa affirmed that the government of Bahrain is working in accordance with a comprehensive system to upgrade the health and medical sectors through various initiatives and programs aimed at developing and intensifying preventive health programs and promoting healthy lifestyles among all segments of society. His Royal Highness's remarks were made as he addressed the third high-level meeting of the United Nations General Assembly on non-communicable diseases held in New York. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mr. Mohammed bin Ibrahim al mutawwa addressed the event on His Royal Highness's behalf. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain has succeeded in achieving all the health-related Millennium Development Goals after agreeing to the new global plan entitled Transforming Our World, the 2030 Sustainable Development Plan, which consists of 17 targets, 169 targets, of which His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said Bahrain has accomplished outstanding results. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain is working constantly in developing the health care sector by taking several steps, including the approval of the National Health Plan for the years 2016-2025, which has emphasized that Bahrain is moving towards the international commitment of the World Health Organization to achieve three by eight of the sustainable development goals and universal coverage. His Royal Highness pointed out that the National Health Plan aims to achieve quality in the provision of health services, ensuring their financing and sustainability provide the necessary human resources and infrastructure. His Royal Highness went on to affirm the plan promotes all the preventative and curative aspects of health care levels and enables patients and their families to control diseases, strengthen research and community participation by applying programs designed to prevent their risks and educate the community to reduce the infection rate. He called on the international community to work together to eliminate various diseases and epidemics that affect many communities. His Royal Highness also called for developing strategy and operational plans that work towards the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals in this regard. The Kingdom of Bahrain has won an outstanding United Nations Award where the Ministry of Health has been selected by the United Nations Interagency Task Force Award for its outstanding contribution to the achievement of sustainable development goals related to non-communicable diseases and its great efforts and successive achievements to combat non-communicable diseases in efforts to achieve the best standards of health, disease prevention and the health of citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Marking the occasion, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mr. Mohammed bin Ibrahim al mutawwa expressed his thanks and appreciation to the United Nations Organization for granting the Ministry of Health in the Kingdom of Bahrain this prestigious award as the first Gulf country to recognize its outstanding contribution to achieving sustainable development goals related to non-communicable diseases. Mr. Mutawa also stressed that this award is an embodiment of the achievements of the Kingdom in the health field as a result of the commitment to the best health standards and the importance of ensuring high standards of health care services in a sustainable manner for citizens and residents as a fixed human right and advanced levels in human development. He stressed the importance of supporting such programs which have a major role in driving development and focus on it through participation in the success of its objectives and commitment to ways to maintain health and prevention and avoid the risk factors and the need for all the sides to fight diseases which is a challenge to the development in which all sectors of the government, non-governmental organizations and civil society organizations as well as members of society in all categories are involved in dealing with the non-communicable diseases. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa held a meeting with the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres on the sideline of the 73rd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. The Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and those of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, wishing him success in carrying out his duties in order to benefit all the countries of the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed the Kingdom's pride in its growing relations and its continued cooperation with the United Nations and its appreciation for the constructive initiatives and efforts of Mr. Guterres in developing the work of the United Nations in line with the current realities and challenges facing the world. For his part, the Secretary General requested the Minister of Foreign Affairs to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and the Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince, praising the policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain 
which is based on communication and cooperation with the United Nations and all its organs, commending the Kingdom's effective role in spreading security and peace in the world and wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the meeting of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the GCC states, the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, and the United States of America, held on the sideline of the 73rd session of the UN General Assembly in New York. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's pride in the historic and strategic relations with the United States of America and its great appreciation for the efforts exerted by President Donald Trump and his initiatives to establish peace and security in the Middle East. He also praised the U.S. President's keenness to consult and cooperate with the countries of the region to effectively address their problems and challenges, stressing the Kingdom's appreciation of the clear policy of the U.S. in supporting the security and stability of the region in cooperation with its allies. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also discussed the Iranian threats to the countries and the region and the means to address them as well as the number of issues related to security and strengthening it in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Alistair Burt on the sideline of the 73rd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the friendly relations between the United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Bahrain, affirming the Kingdom of Bahrain's pride in these prosperous relations. Thanks to the great interest of both countries to diversify various aspects of the bilateral cooperation and joint coordination towards regional and international issues. For his part, Mr. Burt commended the high level of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mr. Makhdoum Shah Mahmoud Qurashi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed the pride of the Kingdom for its strong relations with the Islamic Republic of Iran, commending the development witnessed between them. Sheikh Khalid also praised the brotherly relations of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan with the Kingdom of Bahrain and its efforts in supporting regional and international security and stability, affirming the Kingdom's solid stance towards all efforts aimed at establishing peace throughout the world. For his part, Mr. Qurashi stressed the keenness of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan to strengthen the bilateral relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain at various levels and to continue the joint coordination and cooperation on various issues. He also praised the Kingdom of Bahrain's efforts to promote international cooperation to achieve the aspirations of nations and people in maintaining development and prosperity. Also, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Cyprus, Nikos Krestodolidis. During the meeting, Sheikh Khaled hailed the advanced level of friendly relations between the two countries and the mutual keenness to expand the cooperation at various levels. For his part, Mr. Christos Dolidis stressed the interest of the Republic of Cyprus in developing relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. Also, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Georgia, Mr. David Zalkaliani, where he affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to invest in all opportunities in expanding joint cooperation, especially in the economic field, in a way that supports the interests of both countries and people. Mr. Zalkaliani praised the progress of relations achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain and Georgia, which reflects the common will to develop the bilateral relations, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued prosperity and stability. The Justice Islamic Affairs and Endowment Minister, the Chairman of the Higher Committee to Oversee the Integrity of Elections, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit yesterday alongside the judges of the Higher Committee to the election supervisory stations in all the governorates to get an update on the work process there and the ongoing preparations for all the electoral stages. The Chairman and the members of the Higher Committee to Oversee the Integrity of Elections praised the action to present the list of voters electronically for the first time describing the move as one of the development aspects of the elections organizational process to speed up the procedures for the voters. They also underlined the role of voters in controlling the voters lists in all electoral constituencies 
They also praised the national competencies in organizing the elections and the experience they gained in the previous elections.